Bismillah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi isanin ila yaumiddin. Amma ba'd. Hello guys, welcome back to another English video with me, Muaz bin Safar. I'm from Tent KJ. In this occasion, I'm going to review a product, okay? So, but first I'm going to show you the item or the object that I'm going to review to you guys and so as you can see here I have a hoodie or it's like a jacket and this is my hoodie I use it calmly in the class because it's cold especially because we have two air conditioners so do you know what product this is this is the product of Uniqlo Uniqlo it's actually pretty famous around the world Anywhere you go, if you go to a mall, in any country is it, it is, uh, you can find a Uniqlo, Uniqlo store. And there you can find uh, the product of Uniqlo, like this hoodie here. You can find a t-shirt, you can find pants or anything. Uh, so Uniqlo, on Uniqlo, there's not only a hoodie or a jacket, there's also a t-shirt with a foreign colors. Uh, and for each of them, there's different different types for example for a t-shirt the, there's not only a you know the plain one with only one color like blue color no there's also a variant or a type where it has a picture in it or like that <laughs> a picture or a symbol and for a hoodie or jacket there's also a foreign type so it, uh, not only with a black color there's also a white color there's a blue color, red color, and then there's also, for here I have the plain one. So it has no picture or anything in it or image. But if you want to buy the jacket or your hoodie with a image in it, you can find it in Uniqlo store. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you who's the owner of Uniqlo. Because as we all know, Uniqlo is pretty famous. So. But who is the founder? Okay, it's a common thing actually. We all want to know who is the owner of something that's big and famous around the world. So who is it? And here I'm going to show you. Just wait a minute. Okay. Sorry, it's off. And there, the owner of Uniqlo or the founder is Tadashi Anai. Tadashi and I is uh, born on 7 February 1949. He is a Japanese billionaire, a businessman, the founder and president of Face Retail, the parent company of Uniqlo. Uh, Uniqlo stands for Unique Clothing. As of October to 2021, he was the just uh, sorry. Wait for, uh, as of October 2021, he was the richest person in Japan with an estimated net worth of 26.5 billion US dollars and 40th wealthiest person in the world according to Bloomberg Billionaires. So the founder of Uniqlo is from Japan. He's a billionaire. Tadashian is a billionaire. And as of 2020, uh, 2021, he got into a 40th wealthiest person in the world according to Bloomberg billionaires so it starts from a little thing as you can see here early life and education he was born in Yubei Yamaguchi in February 1949 he attended Yubei high school and later was at university graduating in 1971 with bachelor's degree in economics and political science his uncle was an activist for the military group known as uh, Burekmin who, who have continued to suffer case-based discrimination in employment and marriage in modern Japan. And the start of his career is in 1971. Yanai started in business by selling kitchenware and men's clothing at a Jusco supermarket. After a year at Jusco, he quit and joined his father's roadside tailor shop. Yanai opened his first Uniqlo store in Hiroshima 1984. So this is the start of his career. By oh, The start of his career is by selling kitchenware in men's clothing at Jisco supermarket, and then he joins his father's uh, tailor shop, 
and opened his first Unicode store in Hiroshima 1984 and changed the name of his father's com uh, yeah. And then he changed the name of his father's company, Okorishiji, to face retailing in 1991. He has stated, so this is the statement of his journey from his first career. I might look, success I might look su successful, but I've made many mistakes. People take their failures too, ser too seriously. You have to be positive and believe you'll find success next time. So the conclusion from this statement from Tadashi and I is through his experience, through his journey from his first career until now, until uh, he got success is, yeah, on the journey, you will find a failure and to be a successful person, you have to be, you have to accept the failure to be a success. You have to accept the failure and without failure, there is no success. Okay. So that is the, the way to reach a success. And so it is for the owner of tradition and for the price. Yeah. As well known because it's a famous product. So it is, it's supposed to be, you know, it's pretty expensive actually. Uh, so for this, for this jacket like hoodie or jacket in Uniqlo, this is about in Indonesia. It's about for the cheapest price. The cheapest price is about 600, 600,000 rupiah. And by the common, the common price is from about 700 to 800,000 rupiah. And for normal t-shirt or a shirt, for a plain one, it's about 200 to 300,000 rupiah for one piece, that is. And that is for the plain one. And for if there's a picture in it or, a mid, uh, or an image, I think it will be a different price. It's more expensive than the plain one, of course. Uh, and so, that is for the price for each of object or each of the object or the item, it will have a different price. Depends on what item you want to buy. And so for the last thing I'm going to give you, or I'm going to explain is about how the testimony of this product. Actually, there's many t testimonial from other people or from a famous person, but I think it's better if I give you this testimonial, testimonial from myself because I've used it from, from the start when I came here. Okay, so for this product, this hoodie, it's comfortable and for the material it's thick. It's good if you use it in a, uh, in a cold, cold weather or if you're like, yeah. Or for example, if you are like me in a cold room in a class, especially because we have two air conditioners and it's cold. If you use this, it's comfortable and you will not feel cold anymore. But if you use this outside, outside the door, uh, in a sunny day, in a hot weather, of course, you will get sweaty fast. And so maybe that's all for my product reviewing. Uh, thank you for your attention. Shukran to Masalam Alikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.